In this video, we'll look into how you can install and run MySQL on Android using Telmax. We'll be using the latest method to ensure that you don't run into any problems when running MySQL on your mobile device. We'll also look into some MySQL commands to get you started. Thanks to Bowling220 for the video suggestion and thanks to everyone who voted on the poll. I appreciate it. To use MySQL on Termax, you need to make sure that you have the latest version of Termax. Don't download the one from the Google Play Store but use FDroid or GitHub instead. I have a video on how to install the latest version of Termax. Links in the description. Once you have installed the latest version of Termax, run the command pkg update then pkg upgrade to update and upgrade your packages. This will take some time depending on your connection but once it's done, you simply need to install MariaDB using the command pkg install MariaDB. Then, to use MariaDB, we first need to initialize the MariaDB directory using the following command mysql underscore install MariaDB. After that, we need to run MariaDB save dash u root ampersand to start the SQL server. From here, we will need to set up our password. To do that, we simply run the command mysql underscore secure underscore installation. This will ask for our current password, but we haven't set one yet, so we just hit enter. I like to disable Unix socket authentication, then set the root password to something that is not too complicated. I keep anonymous users to make things easier, allow remote login, keep the test databases, and reload all database privileges. To access our MySQL or MariaDB client, we simply run the command mysql u root p. This is currently the easiest way to do this, but it might change in the future. The MariaDB client is where we'll be writing and executing our SQL commands. You can type help to get the manual on how to use this from which you can see that backslash q is used to quit. This will be useful in case you get stuck. The first thing I need you to do here is type show databases to see the databases that are available on your server. To select a database, we simply type use followed by the database name. Then type show tables to see the tables within it. Here, you can type any SQL command to manage or query any table. To exit, we simply hold control and press D. You will need to log in again and that can be done in two ways. You can log in as root using this command or log in as an anonymous user by simply typing mysql. Just keep in mind that anonymous users might not have certain privileges. We are done installing MariaDB but we are not done with the video yet. Let's complete this exercise together. The exercise on screen states that we first need to create a table using SQL in Termax. After we are done creating that table, we need to answer the following questions. First, show us all the employees of the company from the table. Question 2, the oldest employee. Question 3, the youngest employee. Question 4, the average age of our employees. Question 5, Victor is fired remove him from the database. And question 6, Runo has changed his name to Walter Smith. Update his name in the database. Okay, to create our database, we simply type create database followed by the database name. Then, to create a table within it, we need to type the following. Create table, followed by the name of the table, and in brackets, the columns, 
with their respective data types and sizes. Once that's done, I like to use the this command to see the structure of the table before inserting anything. To insert the first employee, we simply type insert into followed by the name of the table and columns in brackets, then values and the values we want to insert in brackets. Be sure to respect the data types of all our values here. We do the same thing for all the other entries into our table. So we just copy and paste and replace the values. Now we need to answer the questions based on the table. For the first question, we simply need to select all the employees in the table. We do this by typing select star from table name. To get the age of the oldest employee, we simply type select max age from employees. This will give us the age of the oldest employee but nothing else. So to get everything else, we need to type select star from table name where followed by our condition which in this case our condition is age is equals to select from employees max age this will just put that 63 into our condition here so the result will be our oldest employee And then we simply need to replace the keyword for the third question. To the other questions, we simply need to use delete from followed by the table name, then where, followed by our condition, which in this case is name is equals to Victor. And finally, the last question in the exercise, we need to update Bruno's name. To do that, we simply type update followed by the table name, then set column name is equals to value, then our condition which in this case is name is equals to Bruno Nash. Here is what our table looks like after all the operation. Please like the video, subscribe, then click on the join button to become a channel member. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.